as you see, it's uh, 320 gig here. And basically, the initial uh, checking for the hard drive, it comes with disk has many bad sectors. So we see that uh, message come on the screen, and we want to figure out if we can recover the data or access to the files. If you have one of those dock stations, you can use and connect it to another a good computer through a USB 2. And at the back here, it comes with the connection similar to your uh, printer connection. This one can handle um, SATA, as you see, the interface here for 2.5 and 3.5, whereas this one, it has the SATA, but also it has the IDE. So this is really good. So this is multifunction. It can be used for new and old, whereas this, it can be used for just new ones. So it's different models, and you can see it has also USB and card reader interface. Um, the other way is if you don't have the dock station, you can have one of those, um, it's called enclosure. And you can see we have here 3.5 um, inch SATA hard drive enclosure with USB. And they comes with USB and eSATA so for speed. So this is can handle up to 3 terabyte um, hard drive. If you have problems, it can um, read and basically you can communicate and, and transfer your files if you successful to read your files. And this one is 2.5 enclosure. So if you are unable to access your files using one of those dock stations or uh, enclosure, and you can't get to your files unless you repair that errors or attempt to apply some of the repair tools to access this uh, hard drive and recover your data. So. We're going to install anyway a new hard drive because if you find this hard drive uh, faulty or it need repair, it's always better to install new hard drive. So I'm going to install 2.5 inch hard drive Western Digital 320 gig. Um, and this is an example. Um, it's something like this size. Every computer, uh, laptop or desktop has its own um, uh, capacity and also speed so in terms of the processor and the memory you have to look how the operating system you will choose will work better and you will not have issues and uh, complication so for example um, you have Windows uh, 7 a professional and that's what most people will use if your computer has the minimum requirements for the hardware or you download uh, Ubuntu uh, operating system 11.10 like I download uh, this operating system from Ubuntu.com so it's easy you install it to your uh, computer similar to what you do with uh, Microsoft uh, the advantage of Ubuntu it's uh, free um, you can install it in, even with a computer that doesn't have lots of memory or small size uh, hard drive so um, that's a very good option for somebody who want to continue to use an old computer or even new computer. It depends um, if you like uh, the operating system, it's open source. Um, and if you don't have that uh, needs to have Microsoft, um, some, some of you maybe will choose to use the dual option between Microsoft, uh, Windows, and Ubuntu. Um, and that can be done because you can partition your hard drive under Windows to, um, to divide it. For example, if we have, in our case, the 320 gig hard drive, you can divide um, certain size from that 320 to use for Microsoft Windows and also the application you would put inside Windows. Um, and for Linux, you can leave um, another uh, part. Um, I would do like 50-50 if I'm going to use in that way or if you know you can going to use for example Microsoft more than Ubuntu maybe you have to think ahead that you will have more space into the Windows partition so you can accommodate for that so this is Windows 7 uh, professional uh, installed and this is how it looks like the desktop this is what uh, Linux Ubuntu looks like 
This is 11.10, the latest version. 